Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brickbods. Today's Mini Figure Monday is from Series 9 and it's The Judge. Now I find it odd that judges are always depicted as really old men. Um, I can't believe that that is the case that there are only old men judges. Um, but I guess if that's the stereotype that's what we're going to make isn't it? So he's got the nice gavel in his hand there. I like that piece. I find his robes a bit frustrating in the minifigure uh, paper insert there is a picture of him with his robes sort of slightly more open at the front there so you can see his outfit underneath and i tried really hard but i could not get him to sit that way once you put that headpiece on or hairpiece i guess it is it just pushes those two robes together and and stops you from being able to see what's underneath his robes maybe we shouldn't be looking underneath the judge's robes but when you're reviewing a minifigure kind of key so I will take his hairpiece off. Well, no, I'll give him a quick spin round first and then we'll take his hairpiece off. So his hair kind of looks like a, a beehive at the back or an igloo, I think maybe more. I, I find the, the judge hairpieces that they wear very strange. Again, that's, I guess, tradition. I don't know why they do it, but it's it's a bit weird. It makes him look quite funny. So I will, yeah, take his hairpiece off and his robes off and we'll have a closer look at what's underneath. Okay, there he is without his robes and without his hairpiece. And you can see he's got quite a, a fancy tie underneath. He's definitely still well dressed underneath the robes. It's a little disappointing. I was hoping he'd maybe be in his PJs underneath, but I imagine that's unlikely. Um, he's got some big bushy eyebrows going on there. I think you could probably could you see those? Mm, maybe they were obscured by his hairpiece. I'm not sure, but they they look like very judgy eyebrows. <laughs> maybe that's just me, but I think he'd like to raise them to pass judgment i would say and it doesn't look like he's passing a very good judgment because his his face is very stern so i think whoever he's judging has been found guilty not good for them so i'm just going to put his hairpiece back on just to see if that hides the eyebrows just so i can see hmm no it doesn't hide the eyebrows but it does kind of take away some of the effect i think because you're now focusing more on that that hairpiece i think but i guess if if he was uh waggling his eyebrows at you you'd you'd notice them anyway <laughs> what do you think of this minifigure where would you put him in your city oh i haven't even mentioned where i'd put him in my city we're not gonna have a courthouse so he doesn't really have a, a proper home um and i imagine judges don't tend to wander around fully dressed in their judgy clothes and especially not waggling their um gavels around all the time so it's an interesting one to place i'm not sure i, I can think of anywhere to be honest but we want to try and include them all all the minifigures into our city if we can. So I'll have to put my thinking cap on for that. Let me know in the comments below if you've got a good idea. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss an update. See you later. <laughs>